Hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to 100 Horses, where we are trying to breed 100, well, breed and sell 100 horses. Oh, we have some garden blight. Oh dear. Well, that's a great way to start an episode. Our horses don't look very happy either. How are they doing today? Oops, I should probably get off there. So, you are hygiene low. Okay, we need to brush our little horsey. So, we do have room in our house for another horse to come along. So I can't, I think we failed at breeding in the last episode, I think. You know how my memory is, pretty bad. But I'm pretty sure that's the state of things. So let's go encourage to breed with houses already full. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We must be pregnant. Yep, yay. That means we're pregnant. Oh, hunger's low, oh no, oh no, oh no. So ask horse to eat blues. Yeah, come on you, come on. So we I, we need to fill up the house. Let's check on when we can next sell our horses. So our babies, we have Scout seven days. So Scout's new. Willow four days. Shadow Moors five days. And that's our three foals. So we've still got another four days, but we did have that little hiccup when we lost our mama horse. And we lost quite a few days where we weren't able to basically sell any horses, which is really sad. I still miss my mama horse, but we can maybe do some fun things with our new heir, Lucy May, who is a sweet little toddler at the moment. Isn't she just adorable? I think she's utterly adorable. So Bobby, Bobby Ray, um, I think he's due to have a wish. Oh, we should deal with that garden blight too. Mm. Wish for simoleons. Um, garden blight. Garden blight? I, I'm, I remember this was like there in the last episode and I couldn't see it. Like normally you can see it quite easily, but I cannot see it. And I don't think we can call anyone to actually take care of it either. It's one of the ones where you can't actually uh, do... Oh, with great knowledge comes great power. And the wishing well just bestowed a particularly juicy morsel into Bobby Ray's mind. It would be quite lucrative to blackmail another sim... Ah. Oh. Yes, it would be quite lucrative. Maybe we could go do that. Okay, Bobby. Let's send you off to bed. Maybe you could sleep in your own bed. How about that? And you can have a wee no nice. Well, we'll just check in on the horses again. So, excellent. Ah, oh, hunger's low. Should take care of yourself though. Mama horse is the one I worry about there, but she seems to be fine at the moment. But yeah, I really cannot see this garden blight. I have had it before and I know it's pretty easy to spot, so. Must be just one of those four rent glitches that we get from time to time. Okay, Lucy May, can you go off and do potty by yourself? Oh, you can! Good girl! Off you go! Let's go with Lucy May off to the potty. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so cute. You think I'd kind of be over kids by now from playing 100 babies? But, no, nah, I'm not. <laughs> They're just still so cute. And she is such a little cutie pie with her, like, gorgeous lavender eyes, just like Grandma. And her cute little, cute little, t uh, what do you call them? Ponytails? Picky tails? Whatever you call them. The little hairstyle. It's so cute, too. <laughs> oh, what a little coyote pa. Yes, we're expecting a foal. Yay. I mean, we knew that already because our household was full. But still, we are expecting a foal. Yay. It's always good to get the news. So apparently, um, a kind person in comments did mention that they had seen that twins are possible with horses. So there is the possibility, but I feel like the the chances of it must be pretty low because we have currently sold uh 21 horses 
So that means we've bred 21 times. Well, actually more than that. 22, 23, 24 times. And out of those 24 times, how many twins have we gotten? Zero. So, hmm. That is a thing. Oh, well, good job there, sweetheart. She's done her business, so um, she would now need to fund her, lift up a little bit so she can go play with her dolls. Dad's having a sleep. Mama horse. So she's okay, they're okay, 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 and there is one more somewhere. Oh, they're sleeping. Okay, well, look at that. All our horses are a-okay. Dad, however, needs to get up and pee, so I'm going to get him out of bed. He can go to the bathroom. Maybe he can cook a meal. That'd be nice. Hmm, what shall we cook? Jup chai? Jup chai. Hey, Sally Ann. Sally Ann's calling to chat. Yes, we can say hello, Sally Ann. Hello, Sally Ann. And hey, darling. I can't believe it. They gave me the promotion. Well, that's great news. Fabuloso. Oh, and you come on. No, this is Aqua. Hi, Aqua. How are you? Maybe we can ask her for a share the love. And can I have a bath, please? Please give me a bath. No, just put me down on the rocking chair. Not what I asked for. Now I want to go have a bath. Are you going to give me a bath? Oh, sure, Mao. Oh, sure, Mao. Oh, she didn't want to give me a bath. Fine, then. I'm just going to go to sleep. Night, night. Rough wouldn't even like bathe her wife's grandchild. Ooh, Bobby raced on and get a six pack, and he's lost his like back things, his weird back creases that he had. <laughs> Ooh, Bobby Ray got gourmet cooking skill. Good on you, Bobby Ray. So, what are we gonna do with Bobby and the crew today? Well, he's having an eat, and we're actually gonna be having. Uh, sure, Sally. We will chat with you. Um, but, but, but another baby. But we really are not able to sell any of the horses for a little few days. So we might actually skip forward a few days in time and have the baby, and then skip forward again until we can sell one of the horses. I guess because there's really not much else to be done in the interim, unless we get Bobby doing something. Hmm. What's Bobby's? Oh, that's right. With Bobby's got aspiration. Discover secrets. I forgot he was a snoop. How do we discover secrets? Hmm. Maybe we can get Bobby to go spy on people. Go to another Sims residence, select the front door and eavesdrop, or interact with mailboxes, dresses, beds, desks, and other objects to snoop. <gasps> you know what? We're going to do that today. We're going to be snoopy today. So maybe we can go up here and visit the unit and hey we'll take all the horses with us as well why not that'll be fun or maybe we won't okay i worked out how to i don't know we weren't uh, visiting the unit so i have worked it up oh hey ulan bobby ray thank you for suggesting i hang out with Chantal valeria we had a spectacular time well that's good let's go <sighs> oh. <laughs> I just noticed that. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, it turns out we can't actually get up there. Is there no one living there anymore? Maybe that cannot go. Oh, it's the event. Oh, okay. <sighs> All right, I'm going to sort my life out. We're going to end this event, but I think we've got to go home to do that. Did the event just start again? 
I can't end the event. Huh. Okay, well instead we're going to throw a birthday party. Because <laughs> I can't go and snoop on someone. Apparently leaving while there's a vent on. Obviously not ideal. Um, so let's bake a cake. Let's bake a cake for our delightful Lucy. Oh my god, I can't believe she's going to be a child already. <gasps> she's gone so old so quick. I swear she's aging up faster than the horses at this point in time. Okay, well let's bake her a lovely cake and throw a party. It'll be lovely. So... Let's go there, and we're going to plan a social event. A birthday party. And we're going to invite a birthday sim, Lucy May. A couple of guests. So who should we invite? Aqua, Nash, Darling, Sally Ann, Ulan, Janice, Eva, Denzel. Okay, so I think we'll hire that role. So I'll just... Do we have a bar? I think we have a bar around the back, don't we? Oh well, if we don't, uh, and I don't think we've got a. Do we? Oh no, actually, we do have a piano, don't we? And we're going to have it at our residence. So tick, yay! Yes, we've got a piano. Birthday celebrants need a cake. Yes, I know. I don't have a bar though. Oh well. Mixologist has got an easy night. Okay, Bobby, let's add some birthday candles and then the birthday girl is gonna age up. Woohoo! <laughs> there we go. Candles help from Bobby Ray. Dad can help her out with the candles. I really hope, like, the whole family line as we progress through this challenge. Wow, you're all fancy dressed up. Um, <laughs> luckily, nature is healing on its own, but the lack of attention has caused your unit rating to fail. Oh. Fine. It was just a whole glitched thing, though. So, not my fault. It's the Sims' fault for having a glitched game. Okay, let's go blow out our candles. Yay! We can do it. She's so fancy. This one time, I just, like, dressed all of my Sims in, like, super formal wear. <laughs> like, even their everyday wear was super formal. <laughs> Uh, this was a, bit, a while ago now, and it was before I was recording, just for fun, you know. Yay! Happy birthday, Lucy May! Woohoo! Where are you off to to age up? Halfway across the house? Probably. Yep, there we go. <laughs> Gotta walk halfway across the house before we can age up, it's fine. Maybe down the road? Maybe. Who knows? There we go. We did it. Yay! All right. What are we going to get? So, randomize. We are an art lover. Okay. In that case, she is definitely going to be a little creative miss. Let's have a look at her. Ah, oh, she's a little cutie, isn't she? But we shall have a makeover because if we're going to have... And here we're going to make her over. Every time she ages up, of course. Not just like every episode. So. Hmm. What shall we give her for her hair? I really liked her little pigtails. I thought they were super cute. I want to do something like that if we can. Yeah. I do remember when like you used to have like those little butterfly clips when I was a girl. They were super in. Maybe we can go for something like that. That's cute. I used to love putting those in my hair. Little butterfly clips. Did you guys remember that? Oh, yeah. I don't know. I'm probably I'm I'm pretty old, so maybe that's just me. <laughs> well that's cute on here. Maybe we'll do that. Or that one. I feel like something curly would suit. There we go. There's our little pigtails. Let's do those. And what colour do we want to go for with Lucy May? I think... Let's go purple. 
we're gonna theme her purple it's like that cute one and what do we got bottoms she's just gonna be purple 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 no. purple and white that's cute and purple shoes oh no that's her party outfit oh shoot okay I always do that I always forget like to switch it to every day absolutely shocking like that kind of want her in like cute dress I love a cute dress or oh, or even like overalls like that you know something that's gonna be good for her to romp around yes that on the on the ranch with because she's gonna be you know she's gonna be practical she's a rancher you know she's gonna be out here she's gonna be thinking about these things what about some big purple gum boots yes and I think you should have some socks on with gum boots right there we go and formal wear just a nice pretty party dress like that one yes please and cute purple shoes perfect sporty wear Hmm. Oh, actually, I quite like that. That's cute for going on the round on the ranch, right? Do that. And then sleepwear. What have we got? Something cute in purple. There we are. I don't really want shark shoes. Party wear we've done. Swimwear. Oh, you know what? I haven't even looked at the like the new swimwear that we got with the new SDX drop. Is that new? I don't even know. <laughs> Is it new? It looks like it's new, but I could be wrong. I've been very wrong very many times before. Oh, that's cute hot weather wear. And maybe like a little, yeah, and I'll get rid of those accessories and maybe change the glasses. Oh, yeah, those are purple and the necklace. You keep the necklace, just we'll do it in purple. That's all. That's cute. And then cold weather wear. Hmm. Oh, that's a nice snuggly jacket. I actually like the white jeans because that kind of reflects our everyday wear that we chose. And some nice gum boots with the checks. Those are cute. Okay, Lucy May, we've given you a cute little purple makeover. That's her. Timber. Hang on, Morning. let's what relationship wise? Let's so it's her grandmother's stepson, which makes that her step uncle. Have I got that right? Is that her step uncle? Oh gosh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that starts to get complicated, right? Um, I think it's time. It is a birthday party, but that's fine. From eating too many quick desserts, uh, too many quick meals or desserts. Oh. Oh dear. Well, maybe you can fix that now. You're not a toddler. Uh, horses. Right. We still need to make sure that they're okay. Mama horse. She's okay. 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 Right. How do you get horse poo in the gym? Do one of the gym, one of the horses go in and like do some gym, gym work? Funny. Um, and there's one more horse and all oh, their hunger's low but otherwise they're okay alrighty well we now have a child in the house a child here and just like with what happened with Bobby Ray she will take over when she gets when she ages up to a young adult so she's getting closer to taking over the ranch maybe we should start working on some of her skills because Bobby Ray kind of went into it pretty unskilled <laughs> because <laughs> I basically ignored him I'm a shocker like that mm, why don't you go do some homework on your birthday party why not okay Bobby Ray where are you oh you're there you're having a chitty chat in your swimwear good on you I have oh shoot okay we better go take care of my horse um I always push train. Here we go. Ask horse to eat, and then you can train a horse to eat. So train Willow, and then you can train Shadow Morse, and then you can train Scout. There we go. Bobby Ray, you've got some work to do. I know there's a party going on, but 
Uh, we've moved on. <laughs> Can you go eat? Yes, mum is going to go eat. Yay! You gonna train that one? Great. Good job, Bobby. You're actually managing it okay. Homework complete. Everybody come out and play with the horses. They will love it. Happy birthday. Shame about the party. See, I like that how I earned a reward, but it was not a reward party. <laughs> There's some stuff that is seriously wrong with the Sims at the moment. <laughs> I've definitely noticed like some weird stuff going on. It's just, it's not quite right, eh? Not quite right. So, because I didn't even do that as a reward party, there were no options to earn rewards on the party, and yet I got a bronze reward for it. <laughs> Amazing. Actually, I wonder if I have anything in household inventory. Speaking of, I've got debug and the book. Oh, well. Queeba! Queeba! Good job, Bobby. So, yeah, there is definitely some weird things going on. Like, for rent, um, I've really had trouble with rental units and stuff like that as well uh, i did have like some issues with moving stuff for people around in the households stuff like that evil workout yes i always forget that bobby's evil okay so you can actually grab a serving of that yummy food and we are going to get rid of that cake before someone blows that candle out and does something wrong Ooh, how did everything get broken that's not great well, I guess Bobby's going to be busy. Oh, did one of the ghosts do it? Oh, yeah, that makes sense. It's a problem with living with ghosts, right? Oh, my God, there's food everywhere. Oh, I guess we'll be set up for food for a while, won't we? Okay, Lucy May, what are we going to do with you? So we're going to get your skills up. You're a little art lover. Oh, hang on, what was that? Unhappy infant. <laughs> yep. Oh, so she's got high confidence though. That's great. So you know what I want to do? I would like to get her getting... So if if there's... Um, let me start again. There is... With, with, with the vampire tones, if you get your skill up to level 5 with vampire tones what happens is that you skill up faster from there it's like all your skills you can skill up faster so if we can do that and get her vampire lore up to level five and then she'll start to skill up even faster which is going to be great because then we can have like a super skilled ear which would be you know that would be very handy because having a non-skilled ear is not the best bobby ray <coughs> bobby ray <coughs> Alright, horse, horse, horse. Their phone is poor, but that's fine. They they can fix that. Why don't you just go if you're if you if you're tense or your fun is low, just go fix it, you know? Okay, let's skip forward a little bit and we'll come back when we're having a, a baby horse. Great news! Blues has gone into labour. We've got a little baby on the way. It's exciting. We're gonna check in on the horses. Everybody should be excellent, I hope. Fun poor. Oh, hunger's low. Hopefully you're going to go eat. And Mama Horse is currently eating as well, so that's great. I'm going to head to the Spice Festival to try some food. Oh, if the timing was different, yes, I would have gone. But we're about to have a foal, so we can't afford to leave the, the house at the moment. But Bobby Ray. Oh, hi, Sally Ann. Yeah, sure, we'll chat with you. Obviously, riding a horse and talking at the same time. I don't know that that's safe, but let's soothe horse and labour. We'll give, uh, give our sweet little blues a bit of soothing. Sally Ann has spread some juicy gossip about no Noemi. Okay. <laughs> Gotta spread that juicy gossip. Woohoo! Mama Horse! Oh boy. Wouldn't do that if I was in late. Well, maybe I would if I was a horse and in labor and like my tummy hurts and I'd be like, not not having any of it. Yeah, you come and come and help Lucy May. That would be great. That's horse a palooza. 
Yips. All right, Mama. Well, we'll just let you sleep as long as possible before we have our horsey. Uh, yep, you're good. Are you awake? Yes, here comes our horse. Huzzah! What are we gonna get? Is it gonna be creamy? Is it gonna be orange and black? Let's find out. Okay, so we've got our Michaels, and then our first name is going to be Fancy Michaels. Oh, it's going to be a little boy named Fancy. That's cute. We've got a little orange and black one. Oh, hello, Fancy. Welcome to the family. What a little cutie pie. Oh, how sweet. Look at all those little orange and black horsies. <laughs> oh, so, so cute. Nobody's taking after Dad except for Shadow Morse so far. Huh. Well, there you go. Um, now, we, we've got a full house. We cannot, we cannot do anything until we have another horsey sold, which is going to be Scout? No, Willow. So we've still got three days until Willow can age up. So we will probably fast forward a little bit until we can um, clear out the house a tiny smidge. But we are working on Lucy May. We're trying to get her skills up as a cute little ear to be. Oh, I mean, not ear to be, because she is the ear. <laughs> but rancher to be is kind of what I mean there. And so I want to try and you know, actually maybe work on some of her skills. She has been reading her vampire tome, so she is a good girl like that. Can we clean that up? No, apparently we can't clean that up. Well, let's open that up and we can reread Vampire Volume 1. Actually, what are her skills at? So she's a Vampire Law 4 already. It doesn't take much with Vampire Law to get that up, to be fair. Which is which is rather handy, because I mean you just get up to level 5 and then your skills go up. So it's like bonus. Okay, Bobby Ray, you're gonna do your workout, and we are probably gonna say goodbye for this episode. Thank you guys so much for joining me for this little journey here. We've got a new fold in the house, which is great. We have aged up and thrown a birthday party for Lucy May. It was a pretty bad birthday party, but it was a birthday party nonetheless, which is probably more than some of my sons get. <laughs> a lot of my sons don't even get that, so yay for them. Oh, Mama and Daddy also having, having some food together. Isn't that sweet? No. Well, thank you so much for watching. Tune in next time. We are going to be hopefully selling another horse and having another and um, breeding another horse. And we we're going to continue to um, to level up or skill up our lovely ear, our rancher to be Lucy May. Thanks so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye bye.